How you doing guys? I hope everybody had a good holiday. Some 30 years ago, I believe it was in the mid 1980s, my uh, then wife and I decided to stay home one night and we turned on the TV and there was a movie starring Richard Crenna. The name of the movie was The Rape of Richard Beck, which seemed to be a really strange title. As it was, we watched it. Uh, Richard Crenna had played this part, this police detective, that basically was basically a womanizer, had little sympathy for women, and in a lot of ways was very abusive. He was convinced that rape victims pretty much had asked for it, and he actually used to make jokes about it. He even had a, his differences with a caseworker that worked with rape victims. This hotshot detective compared going after criminals on his own compared it to a safari. Well, one night after work, he's off duty, and he's driving home through the city, and he looks, and he notices two thugs going into a building. Well, he gets his gun ready. He pulls his car over. Mistake number one, he didn't call for backup. Plus, he's off duty. He decides to enter the building on his own, and he goes in. As it was, he got deep into the building. These two thugs overpowered him. They disarmed him. They found his badge and discovered he was a cop. As it was, they proceeded to sexually assault him. Police found him a little while later. Well, the first person he runs into in the hospital in the rape unit was the caseworker. Not only throughout the movie did his view cha views change on rape victims, he not only now could sympathize with them, he could now empathize with them. Empathy and sympathy, two different things. We can all sympathize with people. But unless you've been through what they've been through, you really can't empathize. That was something I noticed that was seriously lacking, lacking in the Kingdom Halls, was sympathy, first of all. I think we've all heard it. They have no sympathy whatsoever for rape victims. We've heard it on the cot crash videos when it's been mentioned about the child rape victims in the organization. They chuckle and laugh at it. And to me, is a pretty twisted way of thinking, like it doesn't happen. The cop-out answer was one. We've all heard it, and I've even heard it personally myself. That happens in all religions. When you make a comment like that, you're giving it a stamp of approval. You're saying, well, since it happens in all religions, we might as well just let it happen here. If you have no sympathy for rape victims, and I don't know how many people have actually personally known rape victims, you best to keep your comments to yourself. It's difficult to empathize what they've been through if you haven't been through it. And even sympathizing with them, what do you say? It's not like you can just say everything is going to be okay because you really don't know where they're at mentally at this point in time. It's when people come out and bash them, and I have heard this so many times, not just from this one idiot on YouTube of late, that they put themselves in harm's way. It's their fault. They were asking for it. Like I said, keep your comments to yourself. It's true. Some people have put themselves in harm's way out of ignorance. Still, does it make it their fault? And were they asking for it? Least of all, when it comes to child sexual abuse. Were they asking for it? I think not. It's one thing when somebody comes out and says, yes, the organization has made mistakes. Okay, granted, yes, they have. A lot of organizations, a lot of people have made mistakes. But it's when you keep repeating those mistakes and doing nothing about it. And of course, I'm talking about the Watchtower and Bible Track Society. If they had corrected this issue in years gone by, would they be going through what they're going through today? No, they wouldn't. They corrected their mistakes. If they did, it's a day late and a dollar short. Something else I'd like to address, without mentioning a certain YouTuber by name, because for some reason he thinks he's being threatened. To this person in Arizona, I want to address something. You 
are not being persecuted for your religious beliefs. You people are going after you because of your foolish, ignorant comments. Let me say something to you, son. A nine-year-old girl does not like being sexually assaulted. She was not asking for it. But to come out on a public, worldwide forum and bash this girl, I've already made it clear where I stand on that, it was just plain wrong. And if you had anything other than piss for blood, you would delete those videos. The other thing, sexual harassment is illegal. You can claim that I've threatened you. You can claim this one's threatened you. Nobody has threatened you. But what you are doing, and yes, I'm talking about Amber. You've continually made sexual innuendos about this girl. And those videos we're talking about have been downloaded, so they're not going anywhere. When you made your comments about Candace Conti in that black dress, you looked to, be, to me to be getting sexually aroused by it. I think that was totally uncalled for. I saw the video and I did not see what you are claiming. The other thing, I personally have Amber's back if this continues. You will not mention her name again in any of your videos. I strongly suggest you not because something like this can be handled legally. We all have her back. We've all heard it. And you can have all your Goombas in your comment section, section defending you. One of them I still swear is you. All two of them. We are not going anywhere. I'm going to make one thing clear. We don't care about your videos. You can come out and promote your religion, promote your God all you want. That's not what we have a problem with. You are not being persecuted for your religious beliefs. We're coming after you because of your stupid, ignorant comments. It's obvious you have no sympathy for rape victims. You have no sympathy for anyone who is put in that position. You certainly have no sympathy for child abuse whatsoever. Many people don't in your organization. But turn it around. You can bash a stranger that you don't know pretty easily. I think most people can do that. But supposing it was one of your own, your wife, daughter, sister, good friend, cousin, somebody that you know very well, especially if it was a child, was sexually assaulted. They were devastated. Their lives were ruined. And how would you feel if somebody came out on a public forum and bashed them, said they liked it, they were asking for it. They're lying about it. How would you feel? Just something for you to think about. But I strongly urge you to change your course. You can promote your God. You can promote your religion all you want. We don't care. We won't even give it to rat's ass about your videos. But this bashing thing and the sexual harassment of women is going to stop. Anyways, guys, I'd appreciate your comments. Something I haven't done for a while. I want to thank my subscribers. And uh, if you come across this video, hit the notification button. That'll let you know that I'm out here. You guys have a good day and a happy new year. And I will talk to you soon.